Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to write our controllers. Controllers will be using this type ORM get repository methods to get the data in our controllers and then send the data to the different routes. Okay. So I just have created these placeholders like list all, get one by ID, new user, edit user, like CRUD operation you can say. But uh, we have to revisit, we have to visit how actually we are going to access the entities. So first of all, uh, we are going to talk about list all, which will do nothing but it is going to list the data from the entity. So this is the next function. Okay. Now, so to access the data from different entities, we have to get the repo repository first. So you can say user repo and you will be getting it from the get repository and you have to pass the entity, which is user. After this, I mean, we'll be just doing some accessing the entities and it may throw an error. So always wrap it into try catch. And if we get an error, any error, then we will pass it to the error middleware. Okay. Now const users equal to user repo. So here we can have all these methods. You can see find, find by IDs, find one, find one or fail create all these methods are important and these are the methods which i will be writing to do all these things right so use user repo user repository dot find what it will do is it is going to give us the list okay this simple find method now what we are going to do is user will have a relationship with other tables also so we are going to fetch the comments and post also so this find is fine it will just give us uh, all the data from the user just try to make it uh, it's already a sync so we can put a await user repo dot find and just you can say response dot send users dot respond users okay simple one but what if we wanted to fetch the posts and comments also then for these because we have to write a custom queries we'll come back here for now we'll just get one by id so here also what we can do is we'll be just accessing the repository first of all we have to get the id from the request parameter first of all we have to add a next because we'll be accessing it next function and here we are accessing the user repository and we got the id now use the repository dot get by id right so what we can do is just wrap it around try catch i can just copy it from here instead of typing it again and again use the repository dot so here we can what operation we can write get one by id right so if we just see this user repo dot find it's not user repository dot find by ids find one okay these methods are there right so what we can do is we can just call this method find one find one by id right find by ids and uh, i think it will be accepting uh, array of ids okay this is the one but uh, we can just uh, make it more generic so it will give us like this so it will give us a single user okay and uh, the user will be a single user entity object array so what if i wanted to fetch the other attributes also which is a comment and post so we will also come back to this particular point why it is complaining string is not assignable to number string all this now we are passing it so other thing is new user so when we are creating a new user means we are going to do the registration so consider that we are going to get the data from the body so request.body we will be getting the username and password next is next function okay we got the user object now first we have to do the validations because in the user entity we are already using the class validator and we have defined all the validation criteria i'm talking about these things it should be unique it should be the length validation not empty length validations is email all these are class validations so we have already placed and we are validating against it so we can write a 
other separate function for validating any payload now we have to check if errors so we have errors dot length if it is greater than zero it means something wrong we haven't provided the data properly so from here we will just return by just response dot uh, send response dot send and return from here otherwise what we will do is we will try to get the user repository same as we were doing here of get repository user and we will be saving against it user repository and what we can do is await user repository dot create right this is the one and you pass the user entity so this is a simple way to create a user uh, let me just check if we have a save also here yeah save and we just pass the entity object which is user so we will wrap it everything inside a try catch block we we'll just pass this error to the middleware if we get any and once we got the user we we'll just send response dot send this is all so here we are able to create the user similarly the update user is we can just use user repository dot find one or fail uh, this is good method I think find one or fail and you just need to pass the ID no need to pass the array array means you wanted to get all the users for, for different IDs so find one or fail what it will do is uh, if everything is fine then it will respond us with the user if it is not able to find an error find a user then it will send an error okay similarly we have the update operation now another important point is till now we are just getting a simple user but it will not be like this because user has a post and comments also if what if we wanted to access user with the posts right so in that case it's always like we are either we write a raw query or uh, we write a query builder so we will be writing a query builder for user entity and what all things we will be doing here is uh, first of all we will do flying the left join left join and select so what I will be selecting user dot post just take care of uh, the parameter name you are passing that should match with you have defined in your entity left join and select again because I will be getting the user dot comment also okay and then get many because there will be many such records there and yeah this is the final one and we are sending it to the response similarly the find one we will be just adding these criteria to there because if, if you wanted to get one single user then also we have to run all the criteria here ok wait a second what we need is user repo dot create ok user repository I will just fix it then user dot post and here we have where condition also because we wanted to get only for particular ID so this is how we pass the user ID I mean the where condition user dot ID that is equal to the past ID and here you will be passing the ID attribute which you got in the request and dot get one so indirectly what it will do it will just create a query for us with all these left join where ID equal to this and only single record will be returned and now we will be just send it back to the user send it back to the route ok new user uh, it's the same thing we are just sending the password we are validating it and we also need to hash the password 
so user dot hash password i think yeah here's the password so we are calling that method and uh, then user repository dot get a user repository and we are doing the save on that so it will be able to save my user and it will be able to send back edit user is like uh, we are passing the id so first of all we have to find okay does user really exist for this so for that uh, we can use find one or fail that is actually the right way to get it okay so like i have id you are passing so we created a repository user repository now what we can do is inside a try catch block i can just find a user equal to await uh, user repository dot find one or fail you can see here find one or fail i will be passing the id and that depends on how we use it so in this case like if you are getting any error then you can just say response dot status i will be using this response template but it will be like this 404 and message send will be user does not exist user not found because it's not an error from apis or something it is explicitly saying that when you use find one or fail it is when it fails it will go into the catch block otherwise we we found it so we got the user entity now we will be using that user entity itself to do our updates we just return from here and now we will be just on uh, new user so this is our new user and what we are doing is our existing user we have so we will just add it and and you might be passing some attribute like a username you are passing some new username which is coming in the request body okay so what is the error here initially user was null and then user has assigned so we updated the user then i mean again you have to validate it if you are setting lot of attributes right so you can just do a simple validation and uh, you will be using class validator validate method to validate the data which we have so i mean currently we are writing lot of code in the controller but these this particular code can be splitted error await validate if there are any errors then we will be sending these errors otherwise what we will do is we already created a new object so we will just save it await new user repository user repository dot save so what it will do it will it is saving the existing user by updating the some attributes and if it is failing like if you are sending the updating the email and all then username already exists and all it is returning okay so a lot of try catch and all right so this is not the right way of writing it we could have created a service and inside a service we can create a validate user then uh, validate user if exist it can be a separate method it can be a separate method and finally once you get the final user object you should be able to save it okay so just uh, to give you the quick reference how you use the repository methods here we see a lot of methods we, we can access uh, just trying to talk about this user repository dot you can see get id and find one or fail find find count find by id soft delete and delete all these methods are there now if you wanted to delete the entity then first you will do same thing find one or fail if you found that user then user repository dot delete simple method so i will just trying to add in the bottom next function is all good we can just wrap it around try catch here this is in the try catch because find one or fail if it is failing it will go into the try catch block here also you can put a it's safe to put a try catch for the await execution catch error
okay here we can put a hobbit i think yeah dashboard dot status this will delete this particular id before that we have already checked that find one or few if user exists then only it will return this user and we are deleting that user id first we are checking that id really exists in the system if yes then delete it okay thanks everyone